Before voters decide on the big races, the current men and women in the Senate will be asked if Amy Coney Barrett should succeed Ruth Bader Ginsburg with a life appointment to the Supreme Court. Confirmation hearings begin on Monday. Spectrum News 13's Rachel Krause explains the process and how a confirmation could shift the legal standard in our country for decades. The Republicans are going to try to push this through as fast as they can. Um, with Judge Barrett's prior nomination in 2017, she was nominated to the Seventh Circuit, which is where she's sitting now. Her process took five months, and her vote was contentious. Amy Coney Barrett is a mother of seven from South Bend, Indiana teaching law for more than a decade at Notre Dame prior to her appointment to the Seventh Circuit Court. Barry University professor of law Yang Nagov says Barrett has not spent long on the bench, but her rulings do detail where she stands on big issues like health care and abortion. So looking at her opinions, she's previously uh, written a dissent that supported Indiana's ban on a particular type of abortion. Uh, she's written on gun rights in her opinions where she opposed the restriction against nonviolent felons. The Republican-controlled Senate is taking its cue from the president, pledging to confirm Barrett's lifetime appointment to the high court before the November election. That rapid confirmation can happen, Nagov says, but it would be unusual. Typically, the process takes around 45 days. The difference here is that we lack the unanimity, and so it's going to be a contentious vote. Um, and it'll be a matter of playing chess between the two parties during the confirmation hearings. Back in 2016, and it was President Obama nominating a Supreme Court justice during an election year. The Republican-controlled Senate refused to give the candidate a hearing, saying the American people should decide. Now, those same Republican leaders are demanding Barrett be rapidly confirmed. In Orlando, Rachel Grounds, Spectrum News 13.